So last game, praise the defense. Job well done against the Rangers, limiting them to 19 shots. But it became pretty obvious after this game that that one was a fluke and that we're now back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Suck it, blue. I don't want to overreact. What was that? This is going to be a good year. Uh, not this game. The best game ever. Hello, welcome to Hawks Recap. Game 11 is in the books for the Hawks as they lose in St. Louis to the Blues by a score of 7-3. to three. Now, if they were playing football, holding a team to 7 points is pretty darn good. That's a good defensive effort. But... They're playing hockey, and, well, letting the other team score seven goals is not very good. And it all starts 18 seconds into this game. Yoki Haru drifts a little too far to the center of the ice, leaves Ryan O'Reilly wide open, who's just booking it towards that back post. Sanford gets the puck to him, and he basically just taps it in past Crawford. Nothing Crawford could do about that. And basically with that goal, 18 seconds in, it, became pretty obvious that he wasn't going to get a whole lot of help this game. So the Blues are up 1-0, but a little under four minutes into the game. The Blackhawks with a rush of their own. Saad gets the puck over to Anisimov. Anisimov gets it to Kane. Top of the circle, center of the ice, surrounded by Blues players. He gets a shot off. Nothing too menacing, but it finds the back of the net. I have no idea what Jake Allen was doing there. He obviously didn't see the puck at all because he was moving the complete other way than what the puck was going and yeah I don't think it got redirected at all either it just I have no idea what happened but puck is in and this game is tied at one apiece a little under two minutes after that Blues with the puck in the offensive zone ringing around the boards and then just complete utter garbage defensive coverage by the Hawks leaves Perron wide open on the right side of the ice, he gets the puck. Corey Crawford comes out, tries to be aggressive, take away the angle for the shot. Expects somebody on the defense to take away Sanford on the back post. Nobody does. Nobody takes away the pass. Perron gets it to Sanford. He just taps it in. Nothing Crawford could do about that. Maybe lost his crease a little bit there, but he's just trying to be a little bit aggressive. Just hoping someone would help him out, and nobody does. And the Blues are up 2-1. to one. The rest of the first period was fairly back and forth, but neither team could get anything to accumulate for them on the scoreboard. And then with a little over a minute left to go in the first period, the Blues with a chance to clear the puck out of their own zone. They do not. Peter Angelo turns the puck over to Anisimov, who then gets the puck to Kane down in the corner. Anisimov drives towards the net. Kane gets him the puck right back, and Anisimov rips a shot past Allen to tie this game up going into the second period. Now the Blackhawks haven't played a whole lot of quality second period so far this year, but getting a goal late in the first period could definitely provide a spark, get some momentum heading into the second period that they can hopefully build upon, especially since the St. Louis Blues team have had a rough go so far this year, blowing leads left and right. It just didn't look like they had a whole lot of confidence in themselves. This is an opportunity for the Hawks to maybe grab the lead in the second period. But instead of doing that, the Hawks decide to take two penalties early in the second period, giving power plays to one of the best power play teams in the league right now. And the Blues take advantage of that. Vladimir Tarasenko scoring a power play goal to give the Blues the lead a minute and a half into the second period. And then on the second power play, they had a lot of good chances. Didn't score a goal, but they maintained momentum. And that eventually led to a goal a little over five minutes into the second period. Tyler Bozak will get the puck. Just kind of a scramble. Just terrible defensive coverage once again by the Hawks. Once again, Corey Crawford coming out to try and you know cut down the angle, being aggressive. Loses his net. Nobody helps him out. Bozak scores, and the Blues are up 4-2. to two. The Blackhawks would eventually get better, get some momentum later in the period, and then with about three minutes left to go in the second period, Blackhawks have a little bit of a counterattack going. Anisimov with the puck gets over to Kane, who just seemed to be on a mission here, takes the puck in left side, and just blows it by Allen, top shelf. Allen, I don't care if it's Allen, I don't care if it's whoever. They weren't going to stop that shot. That was a determined shot, and the Hawks, Cut the lead in half with Kane's second goal of the night. 
A little over a minute left, and the Blackhawks, like I said, kind of got their stride back. They were getting chances now. Had a glorious chance. Saw it driving towards the back post. The puck gets to him, and he couldn't quite lift it. Allen makes a great pad save sliding over, but he gets hit in the head by his own teammate and goes down. I believe he was taken out because of concussion protocol. Now, they didn't say it was concussion, but just from the hit, that's what I would expect it to be. So Chad Johnson comes in to replace Allen with about a minute left to go in the second period. Nothing really happens. This game goes to the third period with the Blues leading 4-3. to three. So Chad Johnson back with goaltender in for the Blues for the third period with a one-goal lead. This is a prime opportunity for the Hawks to get back into this game, to tie this game up, to salvage a point on the road, but they don't because they only get five shots in the third period, which is obviously not even close to being good enough when you're down a goal. And it's not like the Hawks didn't have opportunities. They had some really good shifts, some offensive zone time, but they either missed the net or they didn't take a shot, tried to be too cute. I think the Blues also did a pretty decent job taking away shooting lanes, but still, Blackhawks, not a good enough job, not a good enough effort. And they pay for it with a little over four minutes left to go in the game. Blues put a shot on that. Vladimir Tarasenko gets the rebound, pots it home, makes it a 5-3 game. And, well, that's pretty much game over from there. Blackhawks would pull their goalie, try to get some sort of miracle with an extra attacker, but they are not granted any such thing. Said Peter Angelo, who didn't have a good game at all. Salvages something out of it, throws the puck 200 feet, somehow finds the back of the net, puts the Blues up 6-3, to three, and then the Blackhawks commit another penalty and go on the penalty kill, and with 15 seconds left in the game, Steen rips a one-timer by Crawford to make this a 7-3 game, and that's officially how it would end. So the Blues desperately needed a win like this to get their season back on track or hope to get their season back on track. This could provide a spark for them, especially after the offseason they had getting prone on O'Reilly. Sky-high expectations for them, and they just haven't started off very well at all this season. But as long as they still have Jake Allen as their main starter and Mike Yo behind the bench, this team isn't going to be meeting any high expectations. They may get into the playoffs, but... That's going to be about it. On the flip side, very poor performance by the Hawks in this one. Fortunately, this is the front end of a back-to-back, -back, which means they can turn around very quickly, put this one behind them, try and put a better foot forward in the next game really quickly here. Unfortunately, they have to try and do it against the Edmonton Oilers, who are playing pretty well right now. Just beat the Predators tonight, and they have a guy by the name of Connor McDavid, one of the best players in the league. I don't know how this defense is going to be able to handle that speed. That's a real concern. And with that, I say thank you very much for watching this episode of Hawks Recap. Hopefully you enjoyed this video more than you did the result of this game. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that as always. If you want to go above and beyond to support me, links to Patreon and merch are down in the description. Check those out. But most importantly, stay safe, make good decisions. I'll see you again real soon.